be a little too much for the height. It's about 15 and a half inches. So what I did is I went down and I put these on my, oh geez, it's a little loud, sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be repurposing these old fence boards and turning them into these flower boxes. Ooh, fun. Now on a scale of one to five, one being easy, five being difficult, I would give this project a two. It's pretty easy. You do have to use a couple power tools, but other than that, I would give it a two. So now let's go over our parts and tools list. All right, let's go over the tools and the supplies that we need in order to complete this project. Obviously, you need the wood. It doesn't have to be old fence boards. It could be it could be anything that you have laying around. Just keep in mind that uh, it's going to be in contact with moisture and be outside. Uh, you'll need a miter saw. You can use a hand saw if you don't have a miter saw. You'll need a tape measure, a drill, drill bits, screws, and some clamps. All right, so I wanted to bring you guys in and have a closer look at this. I did have these put these corner supports in here. I was afraid that if I just screwed into the end that it would break apart uh, within a month. Uh, this wood is pretty old and pretty dry and pretty brittle. So I thought adding these corner pieces in here would add extra support. Uh, and then also at the bottom I put had made these little feet and I'll show you how I did that. Uh, but this just is to keep it off the ground that way the water uh, has a place to go when it drains out. So uh, let's get started. All right, so our first step is to lay out the flower boxes. So for every one fence board, I'm gonna make one flower box. So I wanna use as much of this material as I can and not have any waste. So my initial thought was to make the height of these two of these boards, but I think that's a little too much. It's about 15 and a half inches. So what I did is I took one of the fence boards and ripped it down on the table saw, and so it's gonna be one and a half. I think that's gonna, that's gonna be a good height. This is just preference, you don't have to do this. I think this will just look better um, visually. And so after you lay it out, I'm gonna go um, two feet for the sides and then 11 inches for the end. And that takes me pretty much to the dog ear at the end, which I wanna cut off. So the next step is to cut these down on the miter saw to length. All right, so I got my miter saw set up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down. Like I said before, you could go ahead and do this with the hand saw but I have a miter saw and it's a little bit easier. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these uh, down to my lengths and we'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and cut all our pieces. I even went ahead and cut our corner supports and I mocked this corner up because the next step is to pre-drill some holes. And the reason why we pre-drill some holes is that way, because the holes are gonna be close to this end and if you just went ahead and put a screw in there without pre-drilling a hole, it's gonna split this. So what, what I did is I mocked this corner up and what you want to do is kind of eyeball the center of this side and the center of this side and make a mark and transfer that line down and then same on this side. And then you're going to go ahead and probably maybe about an inch in from the top and from the bottom, make a mark and that's where you're going to drill your, drill your hole. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these all out, mark them up and drill them and we'll be back. Alright so here's a little trick I kind of just discovered or just thought of, um, instead of kind of going through and laying out all these pieces, uh, just lay out one piece and then just stack them on top of each other and then when you go ahead and make your um, hole, just drill through both pieces and then you only have to do it once and you get uh, um, four holes. Kind of a little fun little tip I just uh, discovered, so um, there's an idea for you. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and mark the half inch that we are going to leave um, these, is, these will be kind of the feet. Uh, go ahead and, and mark a half inch and draw a line just for reference. Those, so these are going to be the little feet. Uh, and the next, uh, we're going to do a little assembly. All right, so next I'm going to go ahead and take the short end and go ahead and put my um, clamp and screw my corner supports on. Uh, so just make sure that they're flush. Make sure your half inch is down. And go ahead and clamp this up. flush and then we'll go ahead and put some screws in there I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side and then on the other end and we'll be back all right so something else I ran into um, 
I did split this end, so when I, I when I clamp it up, I'm gonna go ahead and drill a little bit of a hole into the uh, um, corner piece. That way, it doesn't split, and it's a little bit easier to do. So that's just another tip for you guys uh, when putting these in. Just because this wood is so dry, uh, it cracks pretty easily, and there's probably already some cracks in it. It just kind of adds to it. So it might be a good idea to drill a hole into these uh, supports as well. Alright, so I got my end pieces done and went ahead and clamped on my side piece. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill and screw in these and I'll be back once I have this bottom small portion done. Alright, so I got the uh, small um, portion done, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of repeat the process and uh, work my way up uh, and we'll be back. All right, there it is completed. Uh, it was a little tough since these boards are a little uh, warped and everything to get everything together, but I got it. Uh, so next is to do the bottom, and I went ahead and I found some scrap and just kind of screwed these into the bottom, and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I'll, I'll bring you in for a closer look on that. All right, so what I'm going to do for the base, I went ahead and uh, screwed um, some uh, little scraps of wood here, so that way these plywood strips can rest on them. I had a bunch of these left over. I need to use them up. And by the way, I'm still looking for ideas on those uh, on these plywood strips. But I got an idea right here. I'll just use them for the base. So I cut them to length, and I'm just going to fit them in down here on the bottom. And then what I think I'm going to do is I have an old trash bag, and I'll go ahead and put that down here on the bottom. Punch some holes in it for drainage, and I think that'll make it last a little bit longer. That way, that plywood. And maybe the bottom of this isn't in direct contact with the moisture from the soil. Maybe make it last a little bit longer. I don't know how long these are going to last since this wood is pretty dry. But it's an idea. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pack this with soil. And um, I got some tulip bulbs I'm going to put in here. Um, so that's that. And there's a completed uh, repurposed fence boards into a flower uh, box. Alright, so here's what I did. I got an old garbage bag. And I cut down one of the long ends and then across the bottom and opened it up and kind of stuffed it in here. And I had some old gravel laying around. I put the gravel on first in the bottom and then the sand. And then I poked a bunch of holes in between the two slats of wood. Uh, and then I'm just going to fill this with dirt and uh, I'm going to plant some bulbs in it that I have. Um, and then uh, that'll be it. Alright, so there it is completed with soil in it. I did cut the bag um, around it, the excess bag that was sticking out. Uh, and if I were to do this again, I think I would make these uh, end pieces a little bit um, smaller because with all the soil in it, it is kind of heavy. So if you are moving this around, I uh, don't want to hurt yourself moving it. Um, so there it is. And once the tulips start to sprout, maybe I'll post a picture on my Facebook page uh, so you guys can see the finished product. So there it is. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.